Welcome to Curiosity. Flying on an airplane is the safest and easiest way to travel, but there are a few airports that put a strain to this theory, or that are simply bizarre. Like Skiathos, whose runway was created in the stretch of sea between two islands. Due to the lack of space, the road had to be built attached to the runway. Since the short runway forces pilots to land at the limit, it allowed people to experience the thrill of jet airplanes landing close overhead. On the island of St. Barthélemy, the runway has been squeezed between a public beach and a steep hill, on top of which is the busiest road on the island. Pilots are required to descend three times steeper than normal to avoid hitting passing cars or pedestrians. Down we go. On multiple occasions, people have had to duck down for cover at the last second to avoid being hit by an airplane. Lugla is probably the most dangerous airport in the world. It was built in 1964, and it has been said that, in order to flatten the runway land, shippers were given liquor to make them perform a foot-stomping dance. The area is subject to strong winds, and flights can only be scheduled for the early morning. The extremely short runway is nestled between a mountain wall and a precipice, not allowing any go-round maneuver in case of emergency. Moreover, the lack of lights and the absence of air traffic controllers means pilots must rely solely on their own experience. On the other side of the world, the airport of Tonkantin is considered to be one of the most challenging, as pilots are required to make a sharp 45-degree bank turn between high mountains, followed by a quick drop to avoid the hillside at the beginning of the runway. Originally a military airstrip, the airport of St. Martin was designed to accommodate just small planes. The tourist boom in recent decades has instead required ever larger aircraft that would need a runway at least 15% longer to ensure a safe landing. This means planes must fly extremely low, almost touching, as in this rare footage, the antenna of the passing car. Every time a plane lands or takes off, the engines blast huge gusts of wind and sand across the airfield to all nearby. The Seoul International Airport in the Kingdom of Bhutan can only be reached after a slalom among mountains as high as 18,000 feet or 5,500 meters. With turns of up to 45 degrees, less than 20 pilots in the whole world are certified to land here. Courchevel Altaport has a very short runway with an impressive gradient of 19%. Too fast or too slow could risk falling into the precipice at the beginning of the runway or crashing into the snow wall at the end, which actually happened in February 2019. Known as the Airport in the Sky, Santa Catalina was built by blasting two hills and thus is subject to very strong winds. There are also airports that, due to their geographical locations, are naturally used to experiencing extreme weather conditions or strong gusts of wind, like Wellington Airport, which is located in the windiest city in the world. Here, the wind is above 32 knots half of the year. Regions with a high concentration of birds may also be at risk. Bird strikes cause damage upwards of 1.2 billion US dollars annually and are a significant threat to flight safety. This is illustrated by the unfortunate Flight 1549, whose pilot had to ditch his plane in the Hudson River. Gibraltar is a very small British overseas territory located at the southern tip of the Iberian Peninsula. Due to the lack of land, the airport was built just above the very busy and only road that connects Gibraltar to Spain. Therefore, every time a plane lands or takes off, the road must be closed for 20 minutes and the runway deeply cleaned. Another example of an extremely bizarre airport is Gisborne, where the runway is incredibly intersected by a busy railway line. In 
An airport can also be located directly on a public beach. Bara is the only airport in the world that uses a tidal beach as a runway. Consequently, flights must be scheduled daily according to low tides, as most of the time, the runway is under the sea. There are also no lights and no indicators whatsoever, other than a few wooden poles. Sometimes, an airport must be constructed directly over roads or railways, using countless bridges and tunnels, even having the runway over an entire motorway junction and the ocean. As in the case of the airport on the island of Madeira, surrounded by high mountains on one side and the ocean on the other. Only a limited number of pilots are qualified to operate into this airport, as the complex manual curved approach is further complicated by the very strong Atlantic wind. Despite being the most expensive civil works project in modern history, Kansai Airport is built on an artificial island that incredibly continues to sink deeper and deeper into the sea, though it sinks much less now than the initial 20 inches or 50 centimeters per year. In 2018, a violent typhoon even completely inundated the airport with seawater. Likewise, the airport city of Malay is only 5 feet or a meter and a half above sea level. On the island of Seba, there is the shortest commercial runway in the world, only 1,300 feet or 400 meters long. The runway has high cliffs at both ends, and only the most highly trained pilots are certified to fly into this airport. Airstrips in Indonesia have even more incredible runways, like Bangga, that has an unbelievable 30% upslope landing strip over a huge precipice. In other cases, the runways of some very small airports are so short, overruns are likely if the landing is not performed more than perfectly. Even if closed in 1998, Pai Tak remains the most challenging airport of all time, requiring pilots to make a 47-degree visual turn between high-rises. Moving on to Antarctica, the ice runway serves the McMurdo Research Station and technically lies in the open sea above an expanse of ice. It is constructed yearly at the start of the Antarctic winter and used until November when the rising temperatures begin to melt the ice. However, when locating a runway in the desert or extremely hot places, the lower air density can seriously reduce the performance of a plane's engines. And, of course, if no runway is available, it is always possible to land on a normal road, that is, if it's temporarily closed to traffic. Subscribe to Curiosity for more incredible videos and don't forget to activate the notification bell to always be updated. Check out also these incredible videos. Thank you for watching.